Good morning everyone. My name is Tanuja Khan, Assistant Professor, Department of Education, BSSS College, Bhopal. Today we are going to discuss about another statistical test known as Mans Whitney U test. It is also a non-parametric test. In our previous videos we covered lot many non-parametric tests. This is one of that. The man's U test, also known as Wilcoxon rank sum test, it is a non-parametric statistical method used to assess whether there is a significant difference between two independent samples. It is developed by Frank Wilcoxon. This test is particularly valuable when the assumptions of a parametric test like T test cannot be met. It is widely applied in various fields including medicine, social sciences and environmental sciences. The, the purpose and the application of U test is it is employed when dealing with ordinal or non-normally distributed data. Unlike parametric test, this test does not rely on assumptions related to the distribution of data may not meet normality requirements. It is applicable when comparing two independent variables or group to different to determine if the distribution of values in these groups are different. Now how it works? The test evolves ranking all the data points from both the groups combined. The U statistics is then computed. This all we discuss in the working rules of the U test. Now the next is assumptions. Basically there are two uh, categories of assumption. The one is the independent sample and under the independent sample the samples being compared must be independent to each other and the, the second assumption is the ordinal data. The data should be at least ordinal meaning that it has an inherent order. It does not assume that the difference between the values are constant as supposed to non-parametric as supposed to parametric test like t-test. Now there are steps to solve this men's Whitney U test. These are the three steps. The first one is the rank of the data. Combine the data from both the groups, rank them from lowest to highest and assign rank. If there are tie, assign the average of the rank to the tied values. Now the second step is the calculate the U statistics. Of course, there, there is a formula to find out the U statistics. With the help of that particular formula of U statistics, you can find out the value of U statistics. Now the last and the most important thing is to draw an interpretation based on the critical value or p-values. To compare the critical value or p-value with, with your computed value. Whatever the value you will get from U statistics, it is compared with the critical value and if the calculated value that means your U value or is greater than the critical value that means your hypothesis, your null hypothesis will be rejected. Now these are the in interpretation rules. Uh, the first is the null hypothesis. Assume uh, the null hypothesis generally assume in this case, in this test is there is no significant difference between the two groups or two variables. Vice versa of that alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference between the two groups. Now how you are going to interpret this? Interpretation of the data is basically based on the critical value that is p value. If your p value is less than the significant value that is commonly we use 0 0.05 level of significance but you are open to use any kind of uh, level of significance any any category of level of significance basically we are use 0 0.05 level of significance. You reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a significant difference between the groups and if your p value is greater than the significant value then in that case you have failed to reject the null hypothesis. Now let us understand the U test with the help of example. Now this is the example on a screen. You have a question, the nicotine content of two brands of cigarette measured in milligrams were found to be as follow. These are the 
uh, data, these are the raw data which we have for brand A and brand B. Now, the question is test the hypothesis at 0, 0.0 level of significance that the average nicotine content of two brands is equal and this is the null, uh, this, uh, this one is your null hypothesis and this against the null, uh, alternative hypothesis that they are not equal. So, what they said? They said your null hypothesis is the average content of two brand is equal and the alternative hypothesis is they are not equal. Now, the first very first step to solve any statistical uh, problem or any statistical test or any uh, hypothesis testing to form the hypothesis. Formation of hypothesis is the very first step of any statistical solution. Now, in this case we have uh, hypothesis, we have null hypothesis, the average nicotine content of two brands are equal. Now, null hypothesis is basically denoted by H0 and if we are talking about two brands or two group whatever you are here assuming. So, if we have two brands or two group that means you have a two sample mean. So, the first one is mu1 and the second one suppose is mu2. So, according to your null hypothesis the average nicotine of first one are equal to the second one. This is your null hypothesis. You have to check this hypothesis with the help of calculation and the table value. The alternative hypothesis is the average nicotine content of two brands are not equal. They are saying mu 1 is not equal to mu 2. It is not mentioned here whether it is greater or smaller. So, if it is not equal that means maybe it is greater or maybe it is a smaller both the sides are open both the tails are open that is why it is a case of two tail test. Now, the second uh, step for any uh, solution in statistics is to just check the level of significance. Basically, uh, always level of significance is mentioned in the question and in our question it is there you have to check your null hypothesis at 0 0.05 level of significance. So, our level of significance is 0 0.05 and with the help of this level, with the help of this level and sample size, you have to find out the table value from the table. So, here in this question the table value at 0 0.05 is 3, okay. maybe or 3 point something 8, 9. So, it is 3. We are assuming as 3. Now, the second step for any statistical solution to solve any statistical question uh, basically with statistical inference is to check the level of significance. The level of significance is already mentioned in the question. We have to check our hypothesis at 0 0.05 level of significance. So, the level of significance is there in the question. With the help of this level of significance, you have to find out the table value. You have to find out the table value from the table and tables are given uh, just at last of the book. So, table value are there. In this case, the table value at 0 0.05 level of significance is 4. Now, the third step is computation of use statistics. In this computation of a statistics, you have to rank the data. In group A, you have 5 data, 15, 18, 20, 22, 25. So, you have to rank these numbers from smallest to the biggest one. So, the first one is the 15, 15, 15 is the smallest one. So, you have to rank 15 as first rank, then second, third, fourth and fifth. Similarly, for the group B also, the brand B also. Now, the formula for U statistics is R1 minus N1 multiply by N1 plus 1 divided by 2. This is the formula for U statistics. For group A, right now we are measuring for the group A. So, for group A, R1 is what? R1 is the sum total of all the ranks, sum total of ranks of group A or brand number A. So, the total of R1 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 that is 15. Now, what is N? N is the sample size of that particular group and in our first group we have 5 samples. 
so that means here n1 is 5 now the formula for u is r1 minus n1 n1 plus 1 divided by 2 the r1 is 15 so we are putting in place of r1 15 now n is 5 the 5 5 plus 1 divided by 2 so 15 minus 6 into 5 6 into 5 is what 30 divided by 2 that means 15 so 15 minus 15 is 0 so this is your u statistics this one is the value for u statistics now similarly you have to compare with r2 also the same formula is applicable for r2 but in case of r2 you have to put the sum total of group number rank of group number 2 that is also 15 so in both the cases you will get 0 only because the sample size is equal in both the groups in both the brands or r is also equal now what is uh, now the next step is to compare the critical value or p value with your calculated value with a small sample size it is common to compare the u status, uh, statistics to critical value from mans whitney u table or use the statistical software to obtain there are lot many softwares uh, in the market you can use that software to calculate the mans whitney directly without doing any calculation you have to put just the raw data in the software and the software give you all the entire value the calculated one also with it and the table value also and it will give you the interpretation also now suppose the critical value for one tail test at five percent level of significance is four for the sample size five now the u is in this case you, your u is the computed value is zero and if u is less than or equal to that 4 sorry this one is 4 if u is less than or equal to 4 then we reject the null hypothesis in this case your u is 0 which is less than 4 so we reject the null hypothesis now the men's whitney the interpretation the men's whitney u test suggests that there is a significant difference between the test of scores of brand a and brand b in practical term it means that the two brands are likely to have a different performance level based on a given test score. This is all about U test. Thank you.